What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope you're doing well. Today's suggestion comes from Kata. We're going to be checking out for the first time John Richardson uh, stalks his fans. So this should be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's get right to it, boys and girls. Snacks not included. Sometimes you get so excited that I end up feeling like I have to worry for you on a sort of physical medical level. Sometimes you tweet me to say, oh, I've got John Richardson tickets. Why have I not pissed my knickers already? <laughs> Didn't you, Catherine? <laughs> Where's Catherine Glynn? <laughs> She's in here somewhere. Whoa. Shit, where is she? Over there? Up there. Up the top, there you are, Catherine. Hello there. Wow. How are you? Wow. Didn't think I'd read it, did you, that? Didn't think I'd read it. <laughs> Probably didn't think I'd remember it for months, did you? Keep it in my head. Uh, are you all right? Have you had a nice day? You sure? Because you hurt yourself this morning, didn't you? You got a bit of pot noodle juice in your eye, I read. <laughs> I should probably point out at this point, if you send me a message, I click on your page and I read everything you've ever written. I can't help myself. Yeah, that's can't funny. I help myself. I get bored. <laughs> you've got pot noodle liquor in your eye. I mean, you're not eating them right, Catherine. That's not. <laughs> Are you all right then? Yeah. yeah, it was a chili beef one, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> chili beef's a favorite. Used to be chicken and mushroom, didn't it? Used to be chicken and mushroom. <laughs> and then she had a chili beef one. She was like, well, that's it. I'm not going back. I'll troll back through your page as well. Don't worry about that. I'll look, I'll look all through your life. You were chicken and mushroom, weren't you, till the 23rd of June, and then it was all chili beef after that. <laughs> so, all chili beef. Oh, shit. Are you with Joe this evening? Yeah. <laughs> that's her boyfriend, Joe. I'll find your loved ones. I'll find your loved ones. <laughs> Joe sent me a little message. Um, are you all right, Joe? How do you feel about uh, your girlfriend sending messages like that to men in their mid thirties? <laughs> do you know about the hashtag she used? Yeah, unbelievable. What was it? Hashtag Fanny Flutters. You've never heard <laughs> the likes of it, have you? You've <laughs> never heard the likes of it. <laughs> oh shit! Yo, what a hashtag! <laughs> The problem is, right, I'm going to stop there so you can relax and enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> the problem with this is, then you feel like mates because I look through your and I like you and I wish you all the best for your next anniversary, 23rd of April. Um, <laughs> is, is that right? No. Is that right? No, 16th? Yeah. 16th. <laughs> I get it confused with your birthday because that's 29th, isn't it? Um, Jesus. <laughs> So I end up liking you because I know Joe wants to be a wildlife photographer and he tweets lots of wildlife videos. And I'm rooting for you. I hope it comes true because it's a worthy dream that. It's a wonderful job. And I know loads of you are in. I know there's a woman called Annie here who's with her husband and it's their 20th wedding anniversary and this is her fucking gift. And that's not good enough, mate. Wow. It's not good enough. 20 years is platinum, not tedium. Get her something nice. <laughs> Someone tweeted me about a week ago, said, oh, I'm dead excited to watch John Richardson. I clicked on her page today to see how excited she was on the day. Do you know what she tweeted today? Can't wait to see Dave Gorman in October. <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow! So then I get to gigs, and it's not like, you're supposed to be a parade of blank faces, but you're not, you're mates. I now start worrying about you, and it can go the other way. You can message me, I end up not liking you. I look at your page, and I think, oh, that dickhead's in tonight. <laughs> a lot of men will tweet me like, oh, we're coming to watch you tonight. You better not be shit. As if I'm usually fit, I think, well, if Phil's in tonight, I better pull something out of the bag. I really had. <laughs> and then sometimes, because you can message me, you just waste my time. You just send me this inane crap. I'll be driving up to a gig in Newcastle. I'll stop for petrol about one o'clock. I'll check my Twitter. In the store, not at the pump. I'm not dangerous. Oh, Don't want to get told off on that big microphone they have. Oh, yeah. Pump seven. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> I check my Twitter, I'll have a message from someone like yourselves coming to the gig that night, and then they'll send me a little message that'll say, All right, me, looking forward to Gannon till gig later. Uh, uh, what time's it start? <laughs> just that. To me, not to the venue, not to his mate he's going with. He's just sat at his desk, you know, I'm Gannon till that gig later, but I don't even know what time it starts. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do about that? Well, I could Google it, since I'm at my computer anyway, but that seems a lot of work for me, that. <laughs> no, I'll just ask him. 
I'm sure he's no better to do on the day of a show than corral his audience in one by one. <laughs> <laughs> Telling us the shore times and where we can park nearby and where's good for local Mexican food, that kind of thing. Unless he thinks he doesn't have to reply to me, the working man who pays his bloody mortgage. <laughs> I've added quite a lot of detail there, to be honest. But... <laughs> I see that and I just think, no, sod off. I know the best stuff to do then. I get back in my car, I carry on driving. But then, because I've seen his little picture, I start to feel sorry for him. It's him and his missus up Helvellyn with the little bobble hats on and... I could have told him, couldn't I? As quick as I didn't, I could have just gone eight o'clock. He'd have gone, oh, eight o'clock, eh? Like every gig I've ever been to. There's a quinky day. <laughs> he just wants a conversation, doesn't he? I think maybe all the other comics are replying to people. Maybe that's why this relationship exists, because John Bishop would just take the time to say, oh, it starts at eight o'clock, pal. <laughs> John Bishop there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, when he did that accent, um, he he almost sounded like uh, for for me. I know it's gonna, not everyone is gonna know this, but uh, Llewellyn a little bit from Green Green Grass, man. He got that accent a little bit. <laughs> Don't say you weren't warned. Um, I think I start to feel bad. And I think you know what? He's a grown man. He can look after himself. He can find out how the gig's going. Problem with Twitter is all sorts of different people come to comedy, and some of you I worry about a little bit more. So sometimes I'll be in the hotel afterwards. I check my Twitter. I'll get a message from a teenage girl, right? And you can tell when you get a message from a teenage girl because their Twitter name's never just a name. It's never like at Sarah Turner or something like that. It's got all colours and sparkles on it. <laughs> like at Izzy Wizzy, and then a galloping unicorn and a beating love heart and a cupcake with a candle in it and the whole thing says why would I just tell you my name there's so much more about me I love unicorns and cupcakes and candles and love <laughs> the minute I say that I think oh don't come and see me <laughs> <laughs> you've got that much love and hope in your heart I'm not your guy <laughs> Oh, man, go and see one of the other comedians. You'll have a lovely time. Don't come and sit through two hours. I was going to get a pot noodle. I decided to fucking smash me head against wall. <laughs> That's about what it's for. I don't want to ruin your dreams. But, you know, they do enjoy the gig. You get a message afterwards, all in capital letters, like, oh, amazing gig. Cheers for coming to Scarborough. Ruffle now. Gif of a goblin eating a Toblerone for no reason whatsoever. It's moving pictures. It's better, isn't it? And I say, oh, just waiting for me dad to come and pick us up. Lol. Right? And I read that in the hotel. I think, I wonder if their dad came and picked him up. <laughs> Because then I don't hear from him again, right? And that goes for all of you. Not one of you pricks tweets me when you get home. Wow, shame. As if I'm not worried sick about each and every one of you. You disappear with these cryptic tweets like, oh, cheers for the gig, just gonna have a few beers, walk back along the canal. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I lost another one. I need to be careful with my audience. I've got to hold on to him. It's like that opening scene in Casualty when they go, I'm just gonna mend them fuses in that puddle in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, this guy was lit, man. Uh, Kazo, this is a uh, phenomenal suggestion right here because, um, oh shit, whoops, whoops, not because of that 100% professionally here uh, screw up. Uh, yeah, but um, what we liked about John is, you know, the, 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 it comes to this realization that, and, and you see it in real life all the time, but there, this constant need that a lot of people do that they tend to just overshare uh, shit, you know, and um, we've seen, um, you know, some some hecklers that uh, have done, you know, audience, uh, you know, kind of annihilations and, and you know, participation. But um, for the first time, this, this it, you know, this takes it like to, you know, audience participation to like, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but such an insane, insane level. Like the fact that this guy knew. Um, yeah, this chick has got, you know, pot noodle, whatever she's, however she's eating this pot noodle, uh, you know, squirting in, in, in her eye. This guy's a photographer, uh, you know, she, you know, he, this guy's got the names down packed, uh, you know, the birthdays. That's, this is some crazy uh, le next level comedy here. But, you know, it, it, we live in a world 100% uh, that so many people share every single little detail about their life that um you got this comedian here uh you know he says he's bored enough that he's gonna you know read through it but you know it's there's so much information that people give like sometimes i i i, I read twitter a lot i'm on twitter a lot and you, you you see like people post shit like and to me i'm just like 
I, I don't want to be sound rude, but like, I'm like, what the hell are you posting this crap for? Like, it'll be some stupid, like, I just ate a cookie. Like, who gives a shit? You know, or I just farted. You know, like, just so much information. And um, do you guys feel that, here's the thing. You got people that would overshare, you know, all these things. You know, they'll say it because, you know, you're... You're behind your uh, computer. You know, it's not on the level where I, I will say keyboard warrior, but, uh, you know, you, you sh you're sharing this information, but how much more embarrassing is that going to be when someone basically is calling you out on, on what you do, what you say, you know, asking a boyfriend, how you feel about her contacting, a, you know, a guy that's in his 30s. So this, I definitely think was very, very interesting and enjoyable comedy. Definitely funny guy. We definitely could check out more of him. Um... You know, we ain't gonna stop. We ain't gonna stalk his Twitter. Uh, this is literally the first time we've ever even heard of this guy. You guys, um, I apologize. You know, uh, you know, we grew in a bubble, guys. Uh, but um, you know, we tried to expand our horizons here. But we definitely think he's interesting. Um, you know, why are those people not telling him that he got home safe? So what is crazy to me is uh. How much people do tag celebrities, you know, comedians, you know, actors. And if you start thinking about it, if if they go to the next level and actually read a lot of these things, that gets it. How you guys feel? Creepy? Is it, you definitely feeling them stalker vibes? Obviously, he's doing it for uh, comedic purposes, but man, this is some crazy stuff. So uh definitely an enjoyable uh, you know, we can say performance, a comedic performance here. So hopefully, if you guys want to see more. You guys know how to do it the same way that Kaza suggested this. Feel free to suggest some stuff. Um, it could be other comedians. It could be things that are definitely not going to be on my radar. Um, and this helps me uh, experience new things, uh, have a good laugh. And, um, you know, we always could use a good laugh. So um, the doors are open. Uh, you know, share uh, what, well, not, you know, you could share, but, you know, uh, suggest um, you know, what you guys want to see on the channel. Cause I always enjoy checking out different things. So thank you, Kaza. Thank you to the Wolfpack community. If you guys have ever just watched one video or two videos, or you watch a lot and, and you've commented or you liked or you subscribed. Thank you. Um, I can't say that enough times. Uh, you know, those that keep coming back for more, uh, you know, to, to see this weirdo dude, uh, I, you know, goofball or whatever you want to call him, clueless guys sometimes. Uh, I thank you. I really do, guys. Uh, you guys do make this journey uh, a hell of a wonderful experience. Uh, not to be too cheesy, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So we'll see you next time. Enough of my jabbering. Uh...